A drugged driver caused a rollover crash in Santa Barbara this evening, and the drug they are talking about is commonly known as laughing gas. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair joins us live tonight from downtown Santa Barbara with more. Tracy. Paula, I am on Bass Street right near Mission where the tow trucks just cleared up the wreckage and police say inside the wreckage they found canister of what some people call whippets, other people call it laughing gas, but police say this accident was no laughing matter. Santa Barbara police say a driver ran a red light and broadsided a family in a minivan. The minivan ended up upside down on the other car. The collision happened just after 5 at the intersection of Mission and Bath Streets. A nurse in another car and neighbors rushed to help. I heard a child crying, so I did the best I could and got, you know, tried to get him out of there. Uh, we got the mother out. She's pregnant. Uh, the father was on the other side. He didn't get hurt, but the uh, baby uh, bit its lip. The other driver hit the windshield. He didn't seem to be wearing a seatbelt. After firefighters pulled him out, traffic investigators noticed suspicious canisters inside his Kia. This is a serious accident, and it's serious because one of the people uh, that was driving was probably under the influence of some kind of a drug, which we believe might be nitrous oxide. And so that's very serious to have somebody driving down the road and, and, and basically using that drug and then hit a family that's uh, just driving down the road and minding their own business. Family members were conscious when they went to the hospital. Neighbors watching the tow trucks and the cleanup commended the people who helped. I was telling them it's like weird how everyone comes together in a bad event because I never had met any of my neighbors before. And the condition of the pregnant woman and her family has not been released, but police say the other driver was injured worse. They were about to get a warrant to do a blood test that could lead to an arrest. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Now to an update on the